So the next topic is about multi-view commons. Um, that is to give some updates what we have done and get some feedback that should be done. Um, I'm still Nikos Lakshman, this is Andy Vaharoni, <laughs> and we are still in the language engineering team. website, 
somebody is, uh, um, uh, if I search this website called Yandex uh, for images of Chinese dragon, and, and I obviously search in Russian, then I find lots of images of this Chinese dragon, and I'll probably find something useful for me here. Uh, if I uh, search Google in English, I also I will also find a bunch of images, different images, not the same ones. Um, if I search commons in English, I'll find a bunch of these. These are not bad, but not exactly the same thing. Um, if I search uh, commons in Russian, then I get this. I, I like like I happen to know what this means because I'm a media wiki developer. Uh, most people will just think that it's completely useless. Um, now, one of the reasons for this, uh, there are several reasons for this, but one of the main reasons is that the titles of the images are not translated. So, um, uh, th this is absolutely essential for searching. Um, and we'll get back to this in a few seconds. Uh, now, what can we do about the site interface language? That is actually one of the easiest parts. The general interface of MediaWiki, it's uh, quite well translatable. It's because it's, it's basically the same MediaWiki with some minor additions for comments. And uh, we also have this universal language selector, uh, which uh, Santosh and Nicholas showed a few minutes ago. So this is one of the ways that you can actually use it. And um, I, uh, I took this screenshot in mainland China. So you see the, at the, at the top of this, you see the languages that, that are spoken in um, uh, China, which you, you can see Tibetan there, and uh, Yi, and Uyghur, and a few others. Um, uh, now, this allows interface language selection, although currently, for various technical reasons, it's only allowed for logged in users. Uh, Nicholas can probably explain why it's a caching issue. There are people working on that. But yeah, it's a little bit technical, but we are waiting for the servers of the upgrades so that we can first step with it so that. Uh, Yes, one is just the software, but we need to wait for the upgrade so that we can run some code. But the software needs to check the language that the user has requested. And that will take some time. And after that, maybe we can go even further and like check that the, what's the browser language, because that's an option in browsers. And we could also check that out. I would say about the use of choosing the language is yes, or the truth. Um, and th so this brings me back to, to, to the beginning of the presentation. Please, like next time you're on Commons, like like really soon, or all the people with the laptops here, please go to Commons now and use the universal language selector to switch uh, the language of Commons to your language. The, the importance of this is that um, there are probably lots of people who speak your language but don't speak English. And you want these people to upload files too. Uh, and you want to see how these people will see uh, comments in their language. And if you see something broken, you can fix it. They probably cannot fix it because they don't know English. So please do this. Please switch your language. If you find problems, and it's quite likely that you will find problems, please report them to us We want to fix it. That's, that's why we are doing this presentation. Um, ULS also allows input methods and web funds, well, that, that, that was uh, uh, in the previous presentation. It only allows this, however, for text. Uh, by text, I mean the, the descriptions of the images, for example, um, not SVG. Uh, and we'll speak about this SVG, like SVG labels. We'll speak about that a bit later. Um, theoretically, ULS can be used also for content language, except content of comments is not why translated uh, by comment again? I mean the descriptions, and so the titles of the images, like you know, like you have like <coughs> Chinese dragon, red square, or whatever, um, they can be in any language, which is really nice. Uh, this is like, oh, you, we do not force you to name your files in English, except it's not really useful because if I name my file in Russian, then you know, it's it's really nice to me, but anybody who doesn't know Russian, that's completely useless. Um, and the way we write descriptions now is this horrible, horrible thing. I, I, I suppose that you recognize this if you, if you ever used comments. This is absolutely unusable to most sane people. Um, there are currently no proper 
ideas of how to change this. So, uh, like, we brainstormed before this uh, session a bit, and like, the, probably the most sensible thing to us is probably to use Wikidata for that. Um, so, this is a, this is uh, this is an item on Wikidata. This is an item which is a Wikipedia article, not not an image, but. You basically see that you can have uh, languages uh, and descriptions, t titles and descriptions. That could be a, a way. Another way could be maybe to use the translate extension. Translate, uh, the, that's the name of the extension. That's the extension that follows translate wiki. Um, it could be possibly used for that. Um, currently, there's the problem of scale because uh, the translate extension shows you a, a, a certain number of, of projects to translate. And if we have millions of files, that list would get very long. It's possible uh, that we'll have to change it, uh, if it makes sense, we are the developers of the extension, but again, we'll need your input. Uh, we'll need input from you, the experienced common users about that. Um, other suggestions are very, very welcome about how could we translate content. A few, a few minutes to questions, uh, very shortly. Uh, now, can, does anybody understand this? Mm, not quite. I've got the last one. Yay. Uh, okay, nobody here from Iran, I guess, this is Persian. It basically says if you understand, please raise your hand. Okay. Um, a few other things that we could translate. Policies. Common has, commons have lots and lots of different policies about copyright and civility and whatever. Um, these can be actually translated using the translate extension, which was recently uh, installed in commons. It, as far as we know, it works quite well. If anybody tried it and uh, if anybody thinks that it doesn't work well, please uh, tell us. We really, really want to know because this is this is one thing that is supposed to work well. Uh, licenses, that is a bit harder. The licenses are translated in the software. Uh, it is a media wiki extension which can be translated on uh, the Transit Wiki website. It's not so discoverable. Like if, if the license is not translated to your language, you need to know somehow that you need to go to Translate Wiki. Um, that's, a, that's a problem that we are aware of. Uh, we are welcoming solutions of how to, how to change it. Uh, yeah, no discovery. Uh, discussions, so this, like, this may seem really crazy, but there are lots and lots of discussions in the comments, again, about copyright and about policies. Um, most of them are in English, and most of them are not accessible to the people who uh, don't speak English. There are actually some technologies for translating discussions. It's crazy, but, but it's something like this exists, but it's way out of scope. It's like, it's, I think it's, it's about language, but it's too big. But we're definitely open to discussions about that after, after the presentation. Um, warnings. Now, warnings is a huge thing uh, on commons. Uh, lots and lots of uh, images are deleted, and about all of them there are warnings. Currently, these are templates. Uh, it will probably go into echo flow, uh, but these uh, people, other people like who, who are working with warning templates on Commons? Mm, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, good, a few people. Please speak to develop, speak to us about translating that and speak to the Echo developers about translating them. The, it's, it's like the classical example of why this should be used and how Echo is used. Uh, translate SVG? Yeah, so I'm pretty broad, so translate SVG is an extension built on top of translate extension, which allows to translate SVG files, the yeah, translate interface. And it was done as a standard code project in last year by iBird. Um, it's not completely ready, but it would be nice if the commerce people would like these are like the technical translate that if they want to use it, they trust it so that they can get the flow, that they can fix it up and deploy it. Yes, please, if you want to translate charts and maps and graphs and logos uh, to your language, this is the easy way to do it, but you please ask us and work with us. Please, like that's the most major block for that. Uh, and also, like, is there, if there is anything else that could be translated and that we forgot, please tell us also. Uh, subtitles. Uh, so there's video. Uh, you can upload video in the comments. Uh, it's possible to like write these uh, weirdish uh, translation files, subtitles files, both times. It's possible. It works. Uh, it's not the easiest way. 
We could probably do this also in the translate extension. Uh, we would love people to start working with us. Are there, are there any people here who translate subtitles from comments? Yeah, great, oh. excellent. Well, uh, if, you, if you have experience translating subtitles anywhere, that's great to do. Please speak to us about that. Uh, uh, we, we really need, like, you. We need experiences from you, from the community, uh, from your colleagues, uh, to, to understand what we do. We do that too, a bit, but uh, we mostly develop software. Uh, and we would like to hear from people who, like, sit in comments, like, three, four, five hours every day. Uh, please find such people and let them talk to us. Um, you have to do some interface tweaks there in Translate. We have to do maybe some internal tweaks, but it's possible to do. Uh, categories, and I'm getting really to the, to the end now. Um, categories, categories and comments now are in English, which is bad. Um, we don't quite know how to translate category names. Uh, Danny, could it be done with Wikidata? Yes. Yes, so we're not promising anything. Uh, but we are, we, are, we are aware of the problem. This is one of the most major problems. Uh, we want uh, categories and comments to be translated. Uh, maybe Wikidata is the way. Um, if there are people who work a lot with categorizing images, please talk to us and ask. Great. Please talk to us and ask questions. Um, so we want them translated. Maybe it's Wikidata. And that's really the jam. Uh, I, I hope that. I don't know, I try to make it funny. I, I understand what this means. I understand what, what the joke here is. It basically says, thank you in English, but in the Chinese characters. Uh, does, is there anybody here who recognizes that language in the middle? Nobody, I really hope that, that, that is Lao. I really hope that there will be somebody here that speaks Lao. If you, if you know somebody here that speaks Lao, I would really like to speak to them. <laughs> uh, so thanks a lot. Uh, and now we love to have a lot of questions. Thank you. Please louder. Okay. Have you looked at uh, like translating templates onto Wiki rather than using the uh, Wikipedia templates? For example, for the copyright templates, just, just keeping them on the Wiki means like, for example, on, on the image page where the template is transcluded to show that it's a user language. Because then obviously there would be a back end that would have the template translated to all the languages. Okay, so I'll repeat the question to make sure that I understood it correctly. Um, uh, are you asking? Did, did we try to think about translating temp, temp, uh, copyright templates in the wiki? Uh, well, yes, we are aware of the possibility. Uh, some of the templates are actually translated like that. Uh, the way to translate it now is to write a lot of code with a lot of parameters for every language. Another way to do it would be to use the translate extension for that, um, which would work, probably. Um, it would not be so portable. Because if you, like if you want to use the same messages on some other wiki, it would be harder to export than to use in a media wiki extension. But th that's probably possible. So if you would like to try that, please catch us after the meeting and, and we'll try to run something like this. essential for Mongolian. Um, the problem is um, that uh, not all browsers support it. That's the first problem. Firefox is, uh, is starting to support it. Uh, Chrome and uh, Internet Explorer support it in different ways. You need to write different code. Um, and, and what's even worse, uh, there are very, very few websites that actually do this. So this will require work. It's not completely impossible, but it's very hard. Like, and we, we absolutely see this as a problem, and we absolutely do want to correct this. Uh, we, we, we don't even imagine how such a website would be designed. Because on such a website, where would, where, where would the, scroll bar, the scroll bar be? Will it be uh, like vertical, and then you'll have to scroll up and down with them? Or will it be horizontal, so you scroll, scroll horizontally? Or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something different. We, we want to work with such communities to at least start to think about the design. So if you speak a language that is written vertically, speak to us, we'll try to think about something. We absolutely cannot promise when will it be implemented because we depend on web browsers. Uh, but that's 
that's a good point to discuss. Uh, so So this is a general question about language support, not, not just about comments. Um, the, the first thing I can think of is probably to use uh, grammar, what, what the, like the grammar rules, the grammar magic word that Santos spoke about earlier, or maybe to add some special code that I cannot think of immediately, but I would love to speak to you about that uh, after this presentation. It's like it's, it's, a, like it's a bit too small, because it's, it's probably about your language, but it's very important to us, so please speak to us. It's like I, I, I cannot say this strong enough. It is important to us. Uh, yes. So I'm very happy that Daniel wants to answer <laughs> for me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the question and the answer. Now you wanted to ask really yes, earlier, so yes. Yes, please, loud. Okay. Uh, my question is, can you get uh, with uh, uh, indigenous people also and with templates? And uh, if you cannot answer right now, we can uh, be a bridge, you know, to go to some experts. It's about the virtual keyboard uh, for some language. For instance, in Cyrillic, uh, we have a script for the Kyrgyz language in Cyrillic. But at the same time, we have uh, uh, the version in Arabic. Uh, the Chinese Kyrgyz are uh, using Arabic, and the Kyrgyz uh, in Kyrgyzstan are using Cyrillic. And we need additional uh, just buttons, additional signs or letters, and uh, it would be uh, uh, very easy uh, to get uh, both of them as a virtual keyboard. In, uh, uh, in Google or in some uh, programs, uh, software as we have it, but it would be uh, better uh, to get it uh, for uh, Wikipedia as well. Okay, so that's a great question. Uh, I, I'll repeat for people who didn't hear it here. Um, the person is asking about, uh, uh, well, the, his particular example is about the Kyrgyz language, which is written in the Cyrillic alphabet in Kyrgyzstan, and uh, in by Kyrgyz speakers in China, they use the Arabic alphabet, so they want, they speak the same language, but they want to use the same alphabet, and they also, they also want uh, 
a way to type it uh, in, a, in a comfortable way. So uh, we can probably solve this. So typing is definitely easy. Uh, we'll have to speak to you and like, you'll have to show us exactly what, which letters do you need. Uh, but we already support about 150 uh, languages in virtual keyboards. Um, so that's really the easy part, both, both for Cyrillic and Arabic. Um, it's also possible, maybe, to do automatic conversion uh, between uh, Cyrillic and Arabic. It's already done for Kazakh language, which is, uh, as far as I know, quite close to Kyrgyz. We could probably also do this for uh, Kyrgyz and for several other languages. So please speak to us about this. Uh, like, we, we'll, need, we'll need you, we'll need help from you to show us. We need this letter to do this, we need this button to, do, to type this letter. Uh, but it's definitely possible. We already did, did this for several languages, so please speak to us after the presentation. And, and anybody else who has such problems, any other languages that need special keyboards or, or, or script conversion, this is done for several languages already. We may be able to do this for uh, more languages, but we need input from you. Anybody else? Explain for people who didn't hear. Um, trend, um, because of a um, uh, certain uh, web browser by a certain big company called Microsoft, um, <laughs> we cannot uh, we cannot quite use uh, SVG files properly um, on Wikipedia. You can upload SVG files, but before they are actually shown to you, they are converted to PNG, which is like kills the whole idea of SVG, um, which is not great. Um, and the so because they are, the PNG is prepared on the server, the text in the SVG file uh, must use fonts which are on the server. So even if you have the fonts on your computer, it doesn't help you, uh, which is really sad. So occasionally um, people say, uh, well, I need my language supported uh, in SVG, so please install a font uh, on the server, and we do this. Like it's not our team, that it's an our team that's actually doing the installation, but you can do this. Uh, you can speak to us and we'll pass it on to the right people. Uh, unfortunately, it cannot work with the web fonts that we provide, that the Universal Language Selector provides, because that is done on the client. That is done on your computer, not on the server. That, that is a very sad part, but uh, that's just how it is. Um, it's possible to solve by just asking us to install the font on the server. So please do. If you need that, please do. I, even if it's just for design. If, if, the, if that particular SVG needs uh, a Latin font, but the design of it is, is important for the correct presentation of the chart or the image or whatever, you can ask this and, and it's usually possible. And we hope that someday we'll be able to use web fonts for that and not like have several ways to install web fonts. Yeah. It was actually about that because I, I was going to say that that is scalable, so the web font would be the solution. Uh, yeah, we we really hope so. Like when when when, uh, when the when the market share of Internet Explorer goes goes really really down, please tell tell, tell your friends to stop using Internet Explorer, please. <laughs> like that will help that will help us use better SVG, better fonts, better everything. That will save us a lot of time to the developers. Please tell you like I'm serious. Um, and um, uh, yes, like when when it goes really down, we'll probably start thinking about using web fonts in SVG. But I forgot actually one thing: the web fonts uh, have to be installed in the server, right? Or I mean, they have so to be web fonts. In the server. Okay, so the web fonts that we that our team provides, we provide them for quite a lot of languages. Um, uh, they are on the server. They 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 are called web fonts because they are sent to you automatically. Uh, you don't have to install anything on your computer. Uh, you, you need to use a fairly modern browser, like Internet Explorer 6 will probably not work. Uh, Internet Explorer 8, I think, does work with web fonts, does it? Uh, yeah, if, uh, yeah, Internet Explorer 8 probably does work. You, you don't have to do anything. You just have to go to the article and it will work automatically, but not for SVG, for the article. 
for, SV, uh, for SVG, we need to request, make a separate request, and we will install it on the server separately. Yeah, but even, uh, I know we haven't looked into content handler, did we? Probably not. That would probably be you to look at the content handler. Um, not in depth, but I think it can be useful that we are doing more contextual stuff. Daniel, do you want to say something? Thanks a lot, and please speak to us. I, I, I noted all the comments. Like I, I, I take them all very seriously. Could you upload your presentation to the Wikimania Wiki? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, so that's the 